Oh, here's Alex. Thanks, Angie. Hello there. It is a bit of a chilly start to the day with some mist, fog and low cloud limiting visibility and temperatures. But it is going to turn quite a bit warmer tomorrow across the region. We'll see increasing amounts of sunshine. In fact, somewhere across the east could hit highs of 21 Celsius, which is a good six Celsius above average. For now, we're pretty much bang on average. We've got a lot of low clouds still, some mist in places. And it, the low cloud is producing a little bit of light rain and drizzle in places. But for the most part, it's dry. It's also quite breezy with a brisk southeasterly wind. But for the afternoon, there are signs that that cloud will start to thin and break. So we may see a little bit of brightness. But we've also got a weather front pushing in from the west. That will make slow progress. So perhaps some spots of rain across the west towards the end of the day. During the course of the night, it will grow gradually track north and eastward, so a splash of rain for all of us. And a lot of cloud around, so it will be a mild night. Temperatures overnight around 12 or 13 degrees. Still quite windy with that brisk southeasterly wind, noticeable particularly on the coasts during the course of the night. And then this warm air that's come all the way from Spain is pushing up on those southerly winds for tomorrow. So we'll notice quite a climb in temperatures, particularly for eastern counties. Across the west, we could hold on to a little bit more cloud. We're closer to a weather front, so we could see the odd spot of rain across those western counties. Further east, that's where we'll see the best of the sunshine. This is where we'll record the highest temperatures, so up to around 21 Celsius. Still a noticeable southeasterly wind, so it's still quite breezy through the day. Now, as we look ahead, we've got a series of weather fronts starting to push in from the west, but for much of the region, we'll really see the rain overnight. So for Thursday night into Friday, we could see a spell of rain and temperatures will cool off a touch over the next couple of days, but it's still largely dry. A Wednesday night rain, Thursday night rain out of the way by Friday, cooling off into the weekend and then it's turning unsettled once more. Angie. Thanks, Alex. Jaw has <laughs> dropped. Thank you, Susie. What incredible balance, absolutely amazing. Now, I wonder if any of you saw the comet of the century last night. It has been visible in the night sky for the last few nights. To, last night was at its brightest. It will be visible again tonight by looking west, low to the horizon just after sunset. And we have now passed sunset. It is also much cloudier tonight, but these are the photographs that were snapped by weather watchers last night. They got lucky. This was Norfolk and another spectacular one taken in Suffolk. And if you do manage to see it tonight, do send those photos in. We always love to get them. Now, temperatures are on the rise and actually tomorrow it's going to feel quite a bit warmer. We're also going to see uh, more sunshine, which will be welcome because today has been a really cloudy day. Uh, we could find that some parts of the region get as warm as 21 Celsius tomorrow. That's a good six degrees above average. And then the temperatures will gradually drop again for the rest of the week. But it is looking pretty mild and it's mild out there tonight. We have got a fair bit of cloud, so not great for comet viewing. We've also got a weather system that's going to continue to push up this evening. And you can see a prediction of where that rain might be, uh, perhaps some heavier bursts across across the west and across the east some clear breaks so that's where we are more likely to see the comet in the next hour or so. Now in terms of temperatures 11 to 13 degrees for most of us a brisk southeasterly wind that is going to be noticeable through the day tomorrow and that is what's drawing up this very warm air from the south it's come all the way from Spain so we'll find those temperatures rising tomorrow could be some fleeting showers across the west but elsewhere largely dry some long spells of sunshine into the afternoon. The west doesn't fare quite so well. This is where we're likely to hold on to a bit more cloud. It's the east. Places like Norfolk, we could record highs of 21 degrees, but there will still be a brisk southeasterly wind, so feeling a little cooler on the coast. So this is the pressure pattern by the time we get to Friday. We can see we're still under the influence of these Atlantic weather systems pushing in from the west. But I think over the next few days, we're going to see a lot of dry weather during daylight hours. So for both Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, we're likely to see some overnight rain, possibly some mist and fog patches, particularly on Friday morning, but some pretty decent temperatures and a fair bit of dry weather before things turn a little cooler and unsettled into next week. So certainly looking much warmer tomorrow, a few days of dry weather by day, the chance of some rain overnight. Now let's go back to Susie. Hello, it's going to be warmer tomorrow with highs of 21 Celsius predicted. Overnight tonight, we've got uh, some areas of rain pushing up from the south. 
not reaching all areas. There'll be some places that escape this rain uh, and it will be very mild. 12 or 13 degrees, a brisk southeasterly wind. That'll be a feature of the weather through the day tomorrow. These brisk southerlies bringing up this warm air all the way from Spain. Could be some areas of cloud first thing, possibly a fleeting shower, but some decent spells of sunshine, particularly across the east where we'll record the highest temperatures up to around 21 Celsius. We hold on to that mild weather for the rest of the week. It does look largely dry. There'll be some overnight rain Wednesday and Thursday, looking a little cooler by Friday, but staying dry, more unsettled into the weekend.